Welcome back, soldiers, to another Ponky update. Today is February 22nd. It is 12.06 a.m. on the West Coast. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do not make investments based on what I say. In these videos, you got Ponky trading at 0 0.03289 USD. That's a market cap of $18.2 million. Now, I'm going to talk about two things tonight because... Like I said, it's at $18 million market cap. My minimum price target is $1 billion on Ponky market cap. Now that's mine, all right? You need to have your own, all right? <laughs> Just because I say that that's my price target doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's what I think could happen. And, and that segues into my next section perfectly because it's about accountability. Now, I was coming home from the gym earlier and I was thinking so many people hate on jeets and stuff. And it's like, you know, there's this whole like um, diamond handers versus the the jeets and stuff like that. I would rather somebody be a jeet, which is just taking profit early. Like, do your thing, dude. I don't care. At the end of the day, like the price action is just representing the sentiment on a certain ticker. So there's always going to be profit takers. There's always going to be scalpers, swing traders, day traders, whatever. Like if there weren't profit takers, that would be odd. That would spook me more than people selling. Because then it's like, all right, like how are these buys and sells being manufactured? Like it's like where are they coming from? You know, it'd be weird. <laughs> so I would rather somebody um, be a jeet than somebody with no accountability. And maybe it's one and the same sometimes. But I really want to hammer this home, okay? If it's your money, you need to believe in what you are doing. And you can't blame anybody else. If you hit buy and you hit sell, then the responsibility lies on you. If I win or lose money trading crypto, I don't blame anyone. I blame myself. Even if I see a tweet and somebody posted the ticker, even if uh, I got like a personal DM and they're really like trying to persuade me like, oh, look at this. There's so-and-so about the community and it's got like utility. And even if I buy in, like after all that, and it's like um, they were personally trying to get me to buy. It's still at the end of the day, no matter what, I blame myself <laughs> because I'm doing it, dude. Like it, it, it just, it blows my mind, you know, um, you, you have to have accountability for your actions for many reasons. But also like if you ever wanna be successful, not just in crypto, but like life in general, you, you, you don't start getting success until you start to realize that you are the cause of all your problems. And I think a lot of people are gonna hear that and they're gonna be like, oh, he's just like spewing bullshit, like motivational um, whatevers. But no, dude, you, you will not have the life you want until you take accountability for your actions. Like you are steering the ship. There's no external mystical forces that are that are dictating your life's direction. It's it's you. And it's been you. So if you're hitting buy or swap, whatever it is, and you're hitting sell, then the accountability lies on you. Just because somebody tweets out a ticker doesn't mean it's going to go straight up or up at all. <laughs> like, dude, we're all just trying to guess the future. And, you know, the bull run hasn't even started yet. So I know there's going to be a whole lot more of this. And that's just the lay of the land, whatever. But I, I promise I'm trying to help you out here. Like, please take accountability, you know. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, Cause I, I got this DM from uh, a kid that follows me and I think he's really cool and I try and help him out a lot. And as long as you guys are respectful, like I, I love communicating with people and learning and teaching and sharing ideas. Like I love it, dude. And this kid was like asking me if he could feel comfortable going to sleep, holding a certain ticker, like holding a bag of a certain ticker. I, I don't even remember what it was. And I'm like, dude, I have no idea. Like, I, I, I'll I, never answer a question like that. Like, oh yeah, like that's a, that's a, that's like a guarantee. That's a sure bet. It's like, no, dude, I'll never fucking say that because it's not my money. 
So if anybody ever asked me what to do with their money, and I get asked that quite a lot, I, I will never tell you. I will never tell you like, oh, that's good or that's bad. I simply post charts that I think look good. That's it. If, if you decide to buy, that's not on me. That's on you because you decided to buy. So like, please keep that in mind. If you ever see anyone posting a ticker online, just because they posted it doesn't mean it's going to go up. It could go to zero. This is a fucking casino. <laughs> these are all of these currencies that are made up. Like, um, well, all currency is made. All money is fake money if, if we're getting down to the nitty gritty. But um, yeah, dude, please just have accountability for your actions. Um, not only will it help your life, it'll just uh, <laughs> it'll make the whole crypto space a little bit better, man. But um, yeah, so I want to talk about this this pattern right here. I saw some folks saying this was a cup and handle. I'm going to tell you why it's not. All right. A cup and handle is typically a continuation pattern. So like if you Google cup and handle, this is from Investopedia. It's like one of my favorite resources ever. See, it's a continuation pattern. This is like a three day or a weekly chart, something like that. So you have an uptrend, then you have this valley handle continuation. Look at this uptrend. Valley, handle, continuation. Um, so you have an uptrend, valley, handle, continuation. So it, it's not traditionally a reversal pattern. Again, you got uh, uptrend, hand, uh, um, cup, handle, continuation. Same thing right here. Previous uptrend, cup handle continuation so this this like you're looking for a reversal pattern here not a continuation pattern because you have this downtrend and then the would be cup and handle so that's why it's not a cup and handle um and also the second reason is the handle goes like 75 percent into the cup so if you measure from the top which is five two down to two cents Look at this price action. It went to 2.8, which is like 75, 80% into the cup. So that thesis would be invalidated. All right. So now you're trying to find a different pattern. Um, the one thing that is similar is this dip in volume. You do want to see that. So as the cup is forming, you want to see a dip in volume. And then it picks up when the handle starts to be constructed on the chart. So what am I looking at personally? I'm not saying I'm perfect, dude. I, I make wrong calls all the time, but uh, this is what I'm seeing on the chart. So it's not super clear. A lot of times it is, but um, I'm just seeing a falling wedge. Simple as that. So you saw that push up like 75% and then it's in a falling wedge. Okay, so you just, you have top side uh, resistance, bottom side re uh, support. Looks like things are slowing down a little bit right here. So maybe a possible inverse head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, um, right shoulder, possible neckline like right there at a uh, three, five. That would make sense. Cause that was the key level I was talking about for like two weeks. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing right there. Um, love you guys so much. And I will see you for tomorrow's update. Peace. <laughs>